very good morning students welcome to the artificial intelligence class today we are starting the unit 5 learning okay according to the jnduea prepared by raja bhato right as chapter of seven pvr bits coming to the contents of unit 5 first one <coughs> learning from observations so in this topic we will discuss the basic concepts of learning next inductive learning decision trees explanation based learning statistical learning methods reinforcement learning right so total six topics are there we will discuss the first topic heading is the first topic is learning from observations okay so before going to that please subscribe my channel and like the video and share the video thank you right <clears throat> what is learning <clears throat> see this this is a robot right i hope all of you seen this movie this movie name is wally so what is mean by learning so learning is mainly improves the knowledge of ai so learning learning process improves knowledge of ai as humans so we are also learners from beginning also we are daily learning something new so what will happen after learning our knowledge is improved similarly the learning process in the computers or robots are also increase or improves the knowledge of yeah okay by so how the we are improving the knowledge observing the environment so in this picture this robot observing this rubik cube so analyzing it okay so improving the knowledge of ai by observing the environment right so what is machine learning okay so we we already discussed learning so what about machine learning Machine learning is an application of AI. So it is an application of artificial intelligence. What is the duty? What is the purpose of machine learning? Is automatically learn and improve. Automatically learn and improve the knowledge. So small video example I will show here. So see the video. So the robot automatically learns everything in this video. The dance, music, other signals. Sleeping also. So it collects everything, which is an important thing. Right? So that is mission learning. Now, how to learn? How to learn? Coming to the basic diagram here. already it is completed it was completed in first unit right so here this is an agent agent is an environment observing the environment by using sensors by using sensors so based on the environment status the performance element the performance element okay so do some actions based on the problems based on the problems okay do some actions so based on the prior knowledge so knowledge is there knowledge is a growth learning element okay so here based on that knowledge the effectors actuators do actions to the environment so here on what is learning one learning element is there so the this learning element collect feedback collect feedback from the critic so critic who is critic here this this uh, 
this one create gives the performance standard what is the performance is it good or not okay so it gives the feedback based on the data so if it is okay then no problem so if it, if it is not okay it changes it changes the performance element it changes the performance elements and changes the goals and the problems okay so simply sense by by using sensors observing the environment doing the performance based on the knowledge if it is okay then no problem if it is not okay changing the performance element and problem generating also okay right so coming to here so what are the different forms of learning before going to that performance element so in previous diagram so this is performance element so performance element what actions to take so what is the duty of performance element what actions to take based on the environment okay so what is the duty of learning element so learning element is modifies the performance element learning element is modifies the performance element right now how to design how to design the learning element okay so here for designing the learning element four issues are there the first one is agent components second one is prior knowledge third one is representation fourth one is feedback so agent components prior knowledge representation and feedback coming to the first one agent components okay so what are the main components in the agents see here first one is direct mapping direct mapping from current state to actions so current state directly doing the actions direct mapping is there okay based on the current state so infer second one you are inferring the relevant properties from the perceptive sequence so you are observing so many uh, sequences based on that you are inferring you are getting relevant properties relevant properties from the sequence third one information you need some information about how to evolving how to evolving the problem and what are the results of possible action so you need some information about evolving and the results and the fourth one you need utility information utility okay how much use we are expecting okay so 90% usage for by using the agent 100% usage 80% usage so you need utility information next you need action value so one action what is the value for that you need information and last one goal so goal that describe classes of states okay so finally you need to main, maintain the goal information so is it uh, reached or not so uh, if you are uh, if you reach the goal so what is the cost estimated cost what is the current cost if uh, the cost is high then next time you have to reduce the cost okay that is agent components so for agent components consider one example automatic uh, uh, sorry artificial intelligence taxi driving automatic taxi driver that is a example so every time the instructor shouts you are learning the taxi okay the uh, artificial intelligence program learning the taxi based on the uh, program so every time the instructor shouts break so the agent might like might learn a condition okay suppose in front there is a car there is a bus you have to break okay so first time uh, the instructors uh, told that so break okay so when you are applying the break so in front of any vehicle is there so then you will apply the break so you have to note the condition so every time the instructor don't shout okay so the agent also learn every time the instructor do not does not shout by seeing many camera images to it learn the recognize them so by using by using the images you can apply the break even though the instructor instructor does not shout right so next by trying actions and observations so 
actions and observation results. Okay, so braking hot on the wet road. So what will happen on the wet road after I brake? So definitely you, you will skid. Okay, so that action results also you need to note down. So for example, you are learning bike. Uh, uh, at early days, what will happen? You, you are applying the sudden brake on uh, sand or wet road. What will happen? The bike will skid. Okay. So after that, you analyze the S on the wet road, on the sand road. You do not apply the brake. Okay. So that's why that is action observing the results concept. Next. Suppose the last one here, no tip from the passenger. Okay, so no tip, the passenger not giving any tip. So what will happen? Because you are shaking up during the trip. So that trip is not good. So you are shaking up the passenger uh, throughout the journey. So that's why the person not giving any tip. Okay, so based on that, you can improve your driving skills it's okay for the next time. So that is agent components. Coming to the second one, prayer knowledge. So, agent needs some prayer knowledge about to any action, to perform any action. Without prayer knowledge, it is not possible. Representation. So, the basic representations are already we completed these topics. Propositional laws, propositional representation, first order logic representations, Bayesian network representation. Okay, all these representations we need. And after that, agent components, prayer knowledge, representation, feedback is most important. Okay, so feedback. Coming to the feedback, so how to learn? There are three types of feedback that determine the three main types of learning. So there are three types of feedbacks are there. So first one is supervised learning feedback. Second one, unsupervised learning feedback. Third one, reinforcement learning feedback. Coming to the supervised learning feedback, okay, so here the input raw, raw data is giving, so here's raw data is super one supervisor giving training data set here, training data set is there and based on the desired output, we, we are applying the algorithm and processing the data and we are generating the Output so see this red color, green color, blue color are separated. This is raw data. Here we are using training set data that is supervised learning. Coming to the unsupervised learning, here interpretation is there. There is no training set of data, so there is no training set at unknown output. We don't know output, expected output. So we are just applying the algorithm, processing the data, and we are getting the output. So here Training set is there in supervised learning. Here, no training data set is there. Coming to the reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning means, so here, the agent do some action to the environment. So, the interpreter giving reward or critic. Interpreter means critic. Critic give reward. Is it good or not? And the uh, state is state also. So if it is good, okay. If it is not good, so the action is changed. The performance element is changed here. Okay. That is reinforcement learning. Coming to reinforcement learning, one example. So for chess, you are learning chess. In starting, uh, the chess playing is not good. Okay. So you are losing the game. So by playing so many times, 10 times, 10, 10 times, 30 times, 100 times. So you are learning each and every step. And finally, you are achieving the target. Okay? Right. Coming to the mission learning, finally summary. So, here supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning. These are the differences. Here output labels are known. Here output labels are not known. Here based on the decision. Here training data set is there. Here no training data set. Here based on the reward and the punishment policy. Here predictive analysis is there. Here clustering analysis, here maximize the reward. So we need to get more rewards, not punishments. Okay, right. Thank you. This is the first topic, learning from the observation. Thank you.